Have you ever noticed those incredibly well-dressed women at the airport or somewhere else that you've been travelling to and wondered how they look quite so immaculate and put together? Well, it's usually down to meticulous planning of the travel outfits so that they don't make these common travel style mistakes. Travelling usually involves lots of walking and wearing uncomfortable shoes can make a trip quite a miserable one. So packing new shoes that haven't been broken into is a big no-no if you want to look good and feel comfortable. New shoes are often quite stiff and haven't yet been moulded to your feet so it's very likely they're going to cause blisters and all sorts of discomfort. Instead of taking new shoes, opt for comfortable and reliable footwear that you've already worn and broken in. Your trusty favourites that you know aren't going to cause you any problems. Just make sure the shoes that you bring match with the rest of your travel wardrobe and are versatile enough to be paired with different outfits. Taking the right shoes for your trip will mean that you'll enjoy your travels without worrying about foot pain and very uncomfortable footwear. I know a very well-dressed lady who plans her whole travel wardrobe around her footwear because she just doesn't want to take multiple pairs of shoes away with her. She says one of the reasons is because they're heavy in her suitcase but also because they take up too much space. So to maximise space and to minimise the weight of her luggage, she takes just a few pairs of versatile shoes that can be worn with multiple outfits. She usually takes a pair of sandals that work for day to night, usually in a tan colour so that they'll blend easily with everything. She'll also take a heeled shoe of some kind, again something that will effortlessly work with everything. And normally some trainers that can double for a day to day shoe for more casual days but also be used at the gym if she does decide to work out. Of course it really depends where she's going but she doesn't normally take more than three pairs. By carefully selecting shoes that can be dressed up or down and match a variety of outfits she can save space and avoid the hassle of lugging around multiple pairs of shoes. Plus she can rest easy knowing that she's got the perfect footwear for any occasion during her trip. It seems it's become fashionable to take multiple suitcases on holiday, pack full of wardrobes full of clothes, which I think is a lot to do with Instagram. But nothing is going to get you more frazzled and stressed out than trudging around airports and train stations with big, heavy suitcases. If you want to look good when you're travelling, then pack light and only take what you need. Taking too many clothes can make deciding what to wear even more difficult and you'll likely find yourself overwhelmed by options and unsure what to choose and that's when bad outfit choices happen. So make a list before you start packing of all the items you need to bring with you. This is going to help you stay organised and ensure that you don't forget anything important. Packing cubes are a great way to organise your clothing and save some space in your luggage. You can separate the items by category like tops and bottoms and accessories. You just have to try and resist the urge to pack those just in case items. You very rarely need them and they just take up valuable space in a suitcase. One thing you'll notice about well-dressed women when they travel is they're usually wearing layers. That way they're prepared for any kind of weather and they can adapt their outfit easily and still look stylish. So when you're planning your travel wardrobe, think about versatile pieces that can be layered together. Start with a comfortable base layer like a lightweight t-shirt or a vest top and then add a shirt that can be buttoned up or left open. You'll need a jacket, a blazer or a casual jacket can add some style and some functionality and then you could add a scarf or a pashmina to add some colour or just keep you warm around your neck. The best thing about layering is it allows you to create lots of different looks with a limited number of pieces of clothing and you'll have a travel wardrobe that's versatile, practical and stylish. Something a well-dressed woman will never forget to put in her luggage is a hat for some protection. It's an absolute essential and quite often she'll plan her outfits around this one piece. If you do plan your travel outfits around a hat, think about colour coordination and balance. Choose a hat that complements the colour scheme of your outfits and balances the proportions of your overall look. A bright and bold hat can add a pop of colour to a neutral outfit, while a subtle hat can complement a bold outfit without overwhelming it. It's also really important to consider the practicality of your hat when you're packing it in your luggage. Look for hats that can be easily packed and won't lose their shape. And don't forget to pack your hat last in your luggage 
so it doesn't get squished or damaged. Something these stylish women always leave space for in their suitcase is comfortable loungewear. After a long day sightseeing, she's going to want to relax in something comfortable. And that's why packing nice loungewear is essential. It's the perfect way to unwind and relax after a long day of exploring. Whether you're reading a book, watching TV, or just simply hanging out, having comfortable clothing will make the experience so much more enjoyable, while still looking chic and put together doing it. Well-dressed women are always prepared for unexpected weather changes. So you'll usually find an umbrella or a raincoat in a luggage. And this is usually chosen to meticulously match your outfits. They can pull the entire look together and add an extra touch of sophistication. One in a color that complements a travel wardrobe like black, navy and neutral shades are a versatile option that will match with most outfits or a simple solid color umbrella is a good choice. So when you're packing for your next trip, don't forget to include a stylish raincoat or umbrella that will keep you dry and looking fabulous no matter what mother nature has in store. Women who always look put together consider creasability when they plan their holiday or their travel outfits. Is it gonna crease or wrinkle as soon as she sits down? Or is it gonna involve a lot of ironing? If it does, she may rethink packing it. Instead, they opt for fabrics that are wrinkle resistant or don't wrinkle easily. Things like knits, denim and synthetic blends. They also carefully fold their clothes to avoid excessive creasing and wrinkles. By choosing the clothes that are easy to care for and packing them in a way that minimizes wrinkles, these women are always looking their best no matter where their travels take them. I think we'll all agree that jewelry is an important part of any outfit, but it can be a mistake to wear too much jewelry when we're traveling as it can make you a target for theft especially if you're well dressed and traveling to tourist hotspots or really crowded areas. So a well dressed woman knows how to strike that balance and choose just a few key pieces of jewelry, like a simple necklace or a pair of earrings that can be worn with multiple outfits and definitely a less is more approach. Or alternatively, she leaves her valuable jewellery at home and opts to take costume jewellery instead. Even if they're travelling to warmer climates, stylish women will always take a jacket or a sweater with them for any unexpected weather changes or for those really overly air-conditioned places. Sweaters can be worn over the shoulder, it looks chic and sophisticated and can elevate any outfit. The jackets usually are made from fabrics that are lightweight and breathable, making them really easy to pack but also comfortable to wear. The pieces are always versatile that can be easily mixed and matched with their other travel outfits in neutral colors, light black, white, or beige. They're a safe choice, but they can be worn with almost anything. I'd love to know how many shoes you take on holiday, three or less, four to five, or maybe more than five. Let me know in the comments box below. Bye for now.